All rules on MLS season 28. It's week one. Orlando City taking on the New York Red Bulls, a pair of last season's Eastern Conference playoff teams trying to get back to the promised land. Frankie Amaya. In swinger to the edge of this six. It's punched away. Strong blow from Galese, who still has some work to do. And plucks it out of the air. John Tolkien's header. That's a lovely ball. And Galese. But contact after the delivery and some concern now for the Orlando goalkeeper. They stayed down because as that play started to develop, Elias Manuel was just trying to get in the way of Galese. Excuse me, it's actually Reyes. Reyes. Reyes who's going to get a booking for it. Good communication amongst the referees. Luquinhas. Harper. Oh, he turns his man inside out. It's Harper into the area. Manuel still alive for New York Red Bulls, but a poor effort by Frankie Amaya. That now they could just build on game plans and game models. That's worked so far in the first 21 minutes. They come once more, it's Casades. It's a good switch for Lewis Morgan! And Galese comes up with a stop, collects on the rebound. He had overcommitted originally in the first match. This time, squares his feet, gets the little hop, so he sits wonderful positioning from the Peruvian number one. Barlow over the top, it's Elias Manuel, just wide. All of the target to aim for, Galese looked beaten. Slego. Gets caught out in a foot race, and that's absolutely what he does not want to do with Elias Manuel. As soon as he gets in front of Schlegel, he can actually take, and he's clear of the defender. Now Schlegel has to let him go. He's the last player. Manuel just rushes that. Oof. Oh, here's a turnover. Nearly Janssen has to clean it up again, and he catches Elias Manuel. That'll be a yellow card for Janssen and a dangerous free kick coming up for the New York Red Bulls. Really, really like Cameron Harper in the right back role. I think he's done really, really well and defensively. John Tolkien on the opposite side for the Red Bulls was really sharp. It is Lewis Morgan who gets things underway as the second half is in play at Exploria Stadium. Sent wide for Harper. Lifted in toward this six. Galese plucks it out of the air. And look out. Galese spills it, but he was fouled. And does bring out the yellow card for Tom Bardo. Manuel forced to adjust near side. So a sliver of an opening for Lewis Morgan! Well, he cannot afford to give him too much space. And the Scotman fires wide. Sense of anticipation bubbling at Exploria Stadium as Torres delivers toward the spot at Aujo. And cleared away by Nealis. Shouts for handball on Nealis. And is it given? Araujo does brilliantly to try to gain some power on it. Oh, and it hits the, it looks like it hits the inside of his body. It most certainly hits the extended arm from Nealis. It looks like it hits the inside off of his ribs before it goes to his arm, but the arm does create a barrier. The first deflection goes off the body, though. Paco Torres takes the measure and finishes down the middle. First shot of the match from Orlando City. Past Carlos Coronel. And the Lions roar into a 1-0 lead. All the confidence in the world from Facundo Torres from 12 yards out. Coronel did his homework. He dove to the side that Torres went last when he took a penalty at the end of 2022. Torres this time changes it up, goes down the middle. He's going to switch over now go short to just try to draw Orlando out to then play it behind. Tolkien floated into the area, punched away by Galese. Morgan with the follow-up, Galese parries. And it's tracked down by Reyes. Janssen blocks. There's a substitute, fresh legs from Ramiro Enrique. Bursting forward, the debutant. And a slight pullback. And he might have gotten away with it, Luquinhas. Look out, Angulo picking it back up and tripped up just outside of the 18. Amaya goes in the book. Johnson just shrugs off the challenge from Barlow. Angulo is guilty of the handball. It's quickly restarted, giving away to Pereira, and the yellow card comes out for Angulo. 
delaying the restart. You're absolutely right. And that is a point of emphasis this season and now for another referees. Point. Yeah. Pereira has also picked one up as well. So in quick succession there. You were right. Your point you were making, Dre, sorry. If there's any other changes that he's thinking of, he'll have to do it together in a block substitution. Ramiro Enrique. Ole. Still Enrique. Sprinting into the area. Enrique! Well, he did everything right. And a little deflection takes it out for an Orlando corner. Quickly restarted by the Red Bulls in chase of an equalizing goal. And Cáceres gets tangled up with Araujo. And I believe he's got the right decision here, Guido Gonzalez. Araujo comes across and commits the foul. Burke against Janssen. Arnold didn't read the intention, but it's picked back up! Galassi denies Cáceres the would-be equalizer! Oh my goodness, standing tall. Catches it on his upper shoulder, the side of the face. Everything as Caceres catches, making a little space to play in behind. Now Angulo's back in to give another number. It's Lewis Morgan. Trying to find the top corner. Only finds cheers from the wall. Yeah. Beyond the eight minutes added on. It's Caceres! And holding on, sure handed, is Pedro Galese. There's the final whistle, and it's an opening day win for Orlando City. Facundo Torres 